Okay. Um, unicorn Pondu. I'm going to be super careful. Like, you kind of don't have a lot to say about this. Um, I actually do have a lot to say about this. Um, but I want to be super careful because what she has done here is absolutely feedy content and she's admitted it, that it came through, um, what is that called? The thing where she like fucking wishes people happy birthday and shit. I, I, I can't even remember what it's called, but uh, she basically got a feedy request and um, she goes into some really gross stuff. Like, um, she talks about she goes back into Red Lobster and talks about the mustard in the head of a, a lobster. And she talks about being mad at her sister for eating a whole lobster. I'm sorry, but you don't just put a lobster on the table and have everybody eat it. Chantel, <laughs> something that's on your plate. Surf and turf, you ever heard of that? I <laughs> can't. She's um, trying to trash her sister in this video. Um, I don't know what to say about this because I've obviously, you know, had a lot of e eating experiences throughout my own lifetime. And, um, yes, there's mustard in the head of a lobster. And you're supposed to clean that out before you eat the meat. <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? I can't. Everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And we almost got away with Chantal not eating something on camera for a day. We almost got through it, but nope. Yeah. She had to upload eating the most expensive tacos, which, um, if you're wondering why they are the most expensive, if you guys didn't catch her live stream, is she imported $12 El Paso tacos, like taco <laughs> shells. I wish I was joking about that also. <laughs> Uh, well, with that out of the way, I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? And hear about how she paid $12 for El Paso uh, hard taco shells, even though she could have just either made her own or used another brand. But that's too simple. I know how this... Well, I don't know. I mean, like, apparently they have cultural appropriation and misappropriation in Kuwait. So maybe they don't have any actual mix in Mexican food in Kuwait. Maybe she can't get actual tortillas where she could like fry them up and I can't. I can't. I, I can't with this bullshit. Oh, I gotta import El Paso. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna go. <laughs> Never miss out on savings when you shop with the Ralph's app. Access over five hundred dollars in savings. Okay, so the stand in stuff for those of you who are not in the US, um, these are um shells that are basically made with a flat bottom. So it's a 
a little easier to like fill them when you're doing your bullshit but she didn't in this video she does not show us actually cooking anything so we do not see her frying up her ground beef you know like putting in the um taco seasoning and putting in the um onions and stuff that you would do to actually fill your tacos right like this is <laughs> guys this is like um something that you buy when you're like um i'm a sad single mom and um i don't have time to cook a meal <laughs> can't i can't with Chantel. she's so bad you guys Assalamualaikum. I can't believe I'm about to eat this. I hope you're all well. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat this. I haven't had this in a Look, If you're this excited over, like, very basic white people, like, not even, an, like, an... Dude, she's getting paid. She's getting fucking paid for this. Come on. This is a feedy video. Come on. She's fucking getting paid for this. And she'll let us incite tacos, um, therapy. Please, I left me some tacos, don't get me wrong, but just, no. So long, like a pack of old El Paso taco kit, like taco kit night, I've been missing that. So let's get into it. Um, I have some tacos. Mm -hmm. These are plain shell. The only thing that could make these better are cheese or a cool ranch shell. But yeah, uh, I also need lettuce, which I thought I had, but I don't. Mm, right, you do need lettuce and tomatoes and guacamole. But I'm sure you know exactly what you're doing, Chantal. And jalapeno. Ma'am. There's so many jokes here I could make, but like we're all thinking the same. But since we have no jalapenos, we are going to have some hot sauce, which we would probably have anyways, but let's mm -hmm. just, uh, mm -hmm. these, oh, maybe these. Oh. we're not standing anymore. Did you oh. fall over? Oh. And to drink, I have a Kinza citrus drink, <laughs> like Kinza brand of okay. Sprite or something. Okay, bismillah. Uh, so I drink water for the rest of the day. I really do. Yeah, I'm trying true. to limit my drinks to just like one. Yeah. All right, let's go. Beauty, bye. So I'm actually using sour cream today, not yogurt. Yeah. I found some sour cream. The taco seasoning tastes like normal mild taco seasoning. <laughs> oh my god, wow, imagine that. Imagine the taco seasoning tastes like taco seasoning. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even. I can't. I can't. And all that fucking sour cream on the plate. I, look, I eat Mexican food all the time. I never have sour cream with my Mexican food. I refuse it every time. Because it's just a ball of fat. Like, why do I need that? I already have a drink to cool my mouth. I have water. I have chips. So, the fact that there are some spicy elements to what I'm eating, I have other things to make it better, right? But she's got the fattest fucking shit possible all around her tacos. So those taco shells are also getting soft right now. Because <laughs> she fucking put sour cream all around them, you guys. Oh my god! Oh <laughs> Makes me want to have a taco real bad. <laughs> well, not in this instance, but just like, god. <laughs> anyway, I'm starting to like pickle jalapenos more than like actual dill pickles. Mm. Well, I mean, you should not be eating pickles to begin with because of diabetes and sodium, but nope, that would be too simple, wouldn't it? You know what would be amazing? Dill pickled flavored jalapenos. <laughs> if you don't like messy eating no. or no table manners, you're not going to like this video. Which, unfortunately, this is actually semi-what tame. This is like every one of your videos, Chantel. So what are you talking about? You're a Neanderthal. 
you look like an idiot every single time you fucking eat in front of us. So, I don't know why you're like, oh, this one, this one, this one, you might want to back out of. Okay. As you will. So we have a new family member here. I did an unboxing of my plaque on stream. Which, oh, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the beauty of edited videos. Uh, uh, my most recent stream. Live stream. They sent me the foodie beauty plaque. <laughs> so my everyday Miriam one was damaged. And I'm like, well, while you're at it, can you change the name? <laughs> okay, um, mm -hmm. I'm going to skip forward a bit because I don't want to hear about the plaque any more than I need to. It's like, it's a plaque. Congratulations. It was damaged. No, but you should be hearing, like, the nervousness in her voice. And the fact that she is really uncomfortable with what she's done. Um, she knows she fucked up. And um, she's uncomfortable with the situation. And so she's kind of running past it really quick. This is also why they have absolutely nothing on the walls. I have mentioned this before. That their living situation is very temporary because um, they don't want to have to, like, do the spackle of, you know, like, having pictures on the wall that uh, you have to fill in the holes when you move out. They don't want to have anything on the walls that are like significant to them that are memories to them that are family to them the she could hang up that plaque but she's not going to prove me wrong Chantel hang up the goddamn plaque we saw. Okay, great. Love that for us. Can we get some other topics, please? Mm -hmm. I thought maybe because of Kuwait, but think about it. They, they have YouTubers everywhere in the world, so they got to be up to up to par with the shipping. You know, this hot sauce. This is Saudi Red Rooster Taco Kid Night. It used to be a regular thing. Growing. You know what? She's not even comfortable with this anymore. She knows she's getting money for it. But at the same time, she wants to get it done as quickly as possible. And that's why, even though it's on a serving platter, she kind of spaced it out so that it's, it's not as large of a portion as some of the other things that she's eaten in the past. Um... She's doing her duty. She's going to get paid. But, um, allegedly, she'll get paid for her fucking feedy content. But, uh, the reality is she's not happy that she's actually doing this for a living. Let's be real. Look at the way she's talking, the way she's nervous. Um, she is not comfortable in this scenario, you guys. Oh, the old El Paso kit. By the way, this is an imported product here. So it's like 11 bucks US <laughs> mm. for this taco kit. But it's worth it right now. I did a cameo today. And the person was like, I love tacos. And I was like, me too. Tacos. I don't mind how my brain works. Anyway, I had a oh. for free delivery on groceries. I mean, free besides tip there, but... We also had enough points for like three KD off, which is like twelve bucks. I'm like, I'm ordering tacos and making my own. And there you have it. But yeah, what we used to eat, like growing up, my mom used to make. Whenever you want to tell us, let us know. We'll be here. Mm -hmm. Like a consistent pattern. One night would be shepherd's pie or cottage pie. Um. One night spaghetti. Spaghetti a lot. Hey, can you tell us what the difference is? 
between shepherd's pie and cottage pie? Because a lot of people don't fucking know Chantal. And you seem to have a problem with lamb. So I think that you were not having shepherd's pie. You were having cottage pie, which is ground beef. Meat sauce, garlic bread, Caesar salad. My mom loves making Caesar salad. Like, it was coleslaw homemade or Caesar salad. Um, steak, baked potato, Caesar salad. And is there a reason why we're talking about food while currently eating food currently? Like, can we keep the topic off of food for right now? No? Okay, I didn't think so. Tacos. <laughs> Every time I would come home from school, I would see on the counter of the taco kit out and ready to go. Mm -hmm. My mom is that kind of person. Like, she'll prepare things the night before, probably because she's so busy, but... And then, meatloaf. We'd order, like, maybe once a week. Oh. At one point, no ordering, hardly. I would get, like, a kid's meal or something sometimes. And then there would be, like, a lazy, easy night. Like, hot dogs, craft dinner, something like that. <laughs> Unless... My step grandmother was coming over. She would make a she would make a lot of vegetables that we didn't like. My sister and I, so we mm -hmm. would be in vegetable uneaten vegetable jail until we finished our like, excuse me, our peas. You know, we never did. And at some point, my mom was just like, "Okay, we're not gonna eat them." So just we ate vegetables. Just I didn't like peas. I wasn't a very fussy kid with food, as you can see. My sister, yeah, she's even fussy to this day. Fussy. To I don't know why you're bringing your sister up right now. Um, and trying to trash her for her eating habits when she's clearly thinner than you are, okay? But I'll tell you straight up, my favorite soup as a child was split pea soup. Um, so I don't give a shit about your fucking I can't eat peas. Give me a break. This day. Also, on top of that, isn't your sister like uh, close to a decade difference slash mm -hmm. younger than you, though? I used to love salad, but with a lot of salad dressing in one day. I always used to make a fuss. I want to pour my own. And my mom was like, no, you're going to put too much. So I was, one time I grabbed the bottle from her as a kid. I was beaten. And I squeezed it hard, and the cap flew off. And the whole, almost the whole bottle of French drenched my salad. And she was like, see what happened? Yeah, so you were an asshole kid. And now we know why you got put in a group home. You were an asshole, kid. Now you're going to eat it. And I think she was joking, but I actually said, okay, get me a spoon. <laughs> I never learned my lesson. Mm -hmm. I think the one time, though, I did learn my lesson. Nope. And here we are, like, three decades later. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Lesson, finally. With letting, like, I was young, so a kid. Anyway, letting my mom control my food. Or helping me with it. And not acting like an adult. We went to Red Lobster. One time as a kid, we went to Red Lobster. And uh, I insisted on having the whole lobster. I threw a tantrum. And my grandpa was like, fine, let her have the whole lobster. I'll pay for it. But you have to eat. You have to eat it, everything. So the waiter brings out the whole lobster. The antenna, the eyes. My grandfather cracked it open. And there was this, like, this is going to be gross, but you know how there's, like, that green stuff inside of a the non-edible part of a lobster? It's yellow. It's called the mustard. You dumb ass bitch. And you could have literally asked them to shell it for you. But okay. Well, some people eat that, I think, but it looked like the movie Alien. You know, when the alien, the cyborg gets cut in half and all the greens. Anyway, it, 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 it like traumatized me and I was like, okay, you got this. Of course I didn't eat it, and I was—I remember being in trouble for that, like, you know, for wasting it. I'm pretty sure they ate it. Somebody ate it, but it was to teach me a lesson, you know. Ugh, anyway. Nobody fucking ate the mustard. Give me a break. Anyways, guys, that was so good. Oh my gosh. I was craving that. Okay, great. Um, still giving into cravings, even though you have diabetes and a lot of myriad of other health problems, though. But we're still doing cravings. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yay. I actually haven't eaten since, like, 1 p.m., like, for real. Oh, shut up. I haven't eaten since uh, 1 p.m. And 
Do you think your diabetes is going, oh my gosh, thank you so much for not eating since one o'clock. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Like, it doesn't care. Shh. I'm thinking, yeah, sure, you're eating it. People think five people eat every 10 minutes, and it's not always the case. I mean, I do eat a lot, but. We also um, saw you on live stream for multiple years in a row, ma'am. We know your eating habits by now. You didn't get that skinny from eating dainty salads throughout the day. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to blame it on having an overactive thyroid for my weight gain because I know it's not. My thyroid's fine. But anyway, um, yeah, oh. I uh, I had uh, fatire, which is like a bread. Um, and in the middle, they had had. I'm sorry. How do you know that your thyroid is fine? When you don't go to the doctor, you're not getting any blood work. How do you know your thyroid is fine? You don't know, Chantel. None falafel, so for breakfast, so. Anyway, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you for having dinner with me, and, uh, mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, great. So that was probably one of the most boring slash annoying videos that she has ever uploaded. And every single day, I swear I say that every single time. It, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Not super surprising. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Uh, Never miss out on savings when you shop with the Ralph. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Unicorn Pondu, for your content. Um... I don't even know what to say about that. I mean, I was a pretty emaciated kid, but clearly I had more culinary experiences than she did, because she's just, like, talking about, like, bargain basement food at all times. And she can't even describe the mustard of a fucking lobster. Give me a break. <laughs> For real. I can't with you.